Hi fam, welcome back to our channel, Design on a Dollar. I'm your host, Ida, and today we are going to do some black and white um, glam wall decor from Dollar Tree. So if you're interested in this, please, please, please continue to watch. And guys, check your notifications and your subscribe subscription to the channel to make sure that you're you are still um, subscribed. Now here, I'm telling you the things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some of the Dollar Tree boards. You're gonna need a um, piece of cardboard, some glue some white spray paint, some scissors, some E6000, some Mod Podge, some black and um, white um, bling wrap. I got this one from um, Dollar General, but you can find them in different places. Your glue gun and some mirrored paper. So first you're going to take your um, cardboard and your frames and you're going to line them up in the pattern that you would like them to be. So, and then you're going to decide how many white, pat, white pieces that you want in your design and you're going to take them out and spray paint them. And as you can see, I chose three for this particular design. Now remember guys, this is a three piece and you only going to see me make this one piece up here, but it's the same exact pattern. Well, not pattern, but same exact way. So then you're going to take your uh, poster board and you're going to trace you're going to trace your take your cardboard and place it on top of your poster board and you're going to trace out um, the design well the the measurements and then you're going to cut that out and guys I recommend you using a straight razor because it's easier the scissors um, is very hard to do and the razor is going to give you a nice clean cut as well. So after you have that done, you're going to take your um, hot glue gun and you're going to, well actually you're going to use your mirrored um, paper. And guys, remember to take your protective cover off the front of yours. Uh, on this one, I forgot to do it. And I was wondering why the design was so dull looking. And I was about to say I didn't like the mirrored paper. But once I found out that you need to take it off, um, I was okay. So I'm just cutting out one part of the mirrored paper. Because as you can see, it's too small for the board. So I'm going to have to cut another piece out. So I'm going to make sure that I have um, the big piece first and then I'm going to go back and cut the smaller piece out. And then I'm going to um, proceed to see I'm marking out where the second piece goes so I won't waste any. And then I'm taking and lining up that mark with one of the marks on the mirror paper and I am going to cut it out and I'm going to do this um, two more times as well to make sure that I have three pieces and for the third one I ran out of uh, the um, full length so what I had to do was cut um, half of it out and then cut another piece out to make up the half if, they may, if that makes sense so here you see me putting down the mirror reflective paper on the cardboard 
and make sure you have all your air bubbles out and just smooth it out as you go it's real easy to put on and it looks like it's shining right here but it's really dull looking to me so I'm saying oh I don't like this right now and then after I get all of the um, boards the um, frames on I realized that it was a protective sheet so I had to go around each one and cut it cut the protective sheet off but on the second and third one I fixed that mistake and I didn't have to worry about it so don't forget to take your protective cover off before you go to the next step so here you see me taking the poster board and I'm aligning it back up with the cardboard and here I'm putting my podge all over the back but guys you don't need to do that all you need to do is use your hot glue gun so now on this one I'm going back and I'm putting some hot glue in with it but um, as I said the Mod Podge is not needed because it's the 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 um, hot glue is good enough because I'm gonna have a hard time sticking this one together because of the Mod Podge and um, hot glue mixing together so off camera I go back and I just use the hot glue gun once that my podge is my podge dry up there and then I have a okay fit or the proper fit should I say so here I am showing you the black and silver bling and I'm going to take three rows of it and I'm going to go around the border of the um, frame what now framework now and I'm going to cover up that raw edge and I'm putting one um, one row on the side of the cardboard or frame and then I'm putting the other two on the actual um, frame part here you can see it's completed and I'm going back now and I'm aligning my design up and I'm trying my best to make sure I cover up that seam and this will work out perfectly as far as covering up the, the entire seam but you really can't tell because one of them um, does not have the seam all the way covered up and you can't tell at all so I'm going to lay the design out and then once I have the design laid out I'm going to leave each I'm going to leave the design on the actual um, frame now and I'm going to start to glue the frames down and for this I'm going to start out using my um, E6000 and the hot glue gun but once again guys all you need to use is your hot glue gun but remember guys I am using Gorilla Glue sticks and so that may make a difference so you may want to use the Gorilla Glue sticks or um, continue to use your E6000 and hot glue method and I'm going to do this for all three of the boards and then when I come back I'm going to show you guys the finished product once I glue all of them down and here you see me starting off with the E6000 on the shorter ends and the hot glue on the long ends and I'm telling you I forgot to take the protective cover off so guys the project once you do this is complete um, and you have to do that three times and I did three different designs and guys I really truly hope you guys enjoy this DIY as I said please remember to look at your notifications and your subscriptions I've had some of you guys tell me that you have been unsubscribed and unnotified so please check that to make sure you are and here we are guys all three the completed finish and they are on the upstairs hallway 
wall and it's so is when you walk into the front door you will be able to see them and I do realize um, I have to I need to put put them up some because I want you to be able to see that all the frame when you walk in so I will have to lift it up some because see as you can see right here um you can't see the full thing when you come in but I think their uh, modern meets glam is the right title for this guys so don't forget to rate comment subscribe like and share and until next time I love you guys bye bye